So you want a hopper minecart unloading system? I've got one right here behind me and it works still in 119.4 and I assume it will work in 1.20 when that comes out shortly. But uh, let me show you how it's built along with a little bit of an explanation on the trick between hoppers and comparators. To start off, I want to explain how hoppers work along with comparators in this project. Okay, so let's say you have a block. Imagine that's a chest and we're gonna have a hopper going into it. And I have it not being a chest so that the item stays in the hopper. Okay, so right now we're gonna put a comparator here. You can see it's off. Nothing's in the hopper, the comparator is off. When I put an item in here or an item is passing through the hopper, the comparator is on, okay? And that's the trick we're gonna use for this project. So if you can imagine a hopper minecart is here, it's unloading, it's currently unloading. There's things passing through the hopper. This will be on. So what we want to have is the powered rail that the uh, hopper minecart is sitting on will be off. But then let's say it finishes. It's done unloading. The comparator turns off. So we want to turn on the powered rail that the uh, hopper minecart is on. The, the powered rail will be like right here. It'll be probably facing this way here. Okay, in fact, let's set that up right now. We're gonna put another uh, rail here. This is not a powered rail so that you can see that this is off and there's a break, okay? And we're gonna put some more here. Doesn't matter how many. And I'm gonna power that up. You can see that it doesn't affect this one right here because of this break, which is a normal rail. It has to be a break here between the powered rail and the normal rail. And I'll put a block so the cart can bounce around, okay? So. How do we do this now? How do we make it so that when there's nothing going on, this is on, it's the opposite or it's the inverted of what the signal is here for this, which is comparator, which is now off. So we're gonna pass that into a block, okay? Now that it's in that block, we're gonna have a redstone torch here. And you can see the torch is on. Now just remember, we put a rail in here, this turns on, now this torch is off. See, we've inverted the signal. It was a positive or on to a negative or off, okay? So now that we have that torch here, we're gonna pass that signal to a block above it. Now this block should be powered. Then we're gonna take a repeater and the repeater is gonna go from that block. You can see it's on because this torch is on. It's gonna go this way. And then we're going to have it go into a block. It's right here. And you can see that block then powers the powered rail. So again, let's put in the uh, rail here. That's as if the hopper mine cart is unloading. It's unloading. So this is on, which gets inverted and passed back through, and the rail right here is off, okay? So we can just put a minecart on here, and as soon as we get rid of the item, the rail, it should start moving again, and there it goes, okay? And imagine it's just running along, it's running along, it keeps trying, and then it gets back here, eventually it's gonna get back here, and it's gonna pass something through. It actually stops, and it waits and waits and waits until it gets unloaded, and if nothing is going through the, the uh, hopper, it keeps on going, okay? So that's how that works. Now let's replace this with a block, okay? And you can see this is working here. And let me jump a couple items like that one right there. It picks it up, it stopped temporarily, and it went on. Let's do a, a little bit more items this here. Let's grab like maybe eight of these and throw that out there real quick here. Let it pick those up, and you can see it goes along. It stops just a little bit, and then it goes on. And then there are the eight items. So you can see that this thing works pretty good. It's very easy. It's a hopper going into a comparator that is has a signal coming off when the, there's something in the hopper. We take it, pass it through a block, and invert it. We can take this redstone torch to invert the signal, and then pass that signal back through to the rail, okay? And that is it. That was a very easy thing to make. I hope that my explanation of how the hopper and the uh, comparator work together and how we invert the signal and how that trick basically makes this entire thing work. Hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you would like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.